So guys, we are here. The line is actually not that long, which is awesome. Um, checking in. Uh, yeah. So this one's a lot more chill than the one from Mac last year. Let's see what we got. Shadows. We got... Oh, these are like cream pots. This is the shade Sapphire, apparently. That. It's like a royal blue. No, it's like a navy. I don't know about that. Oh wow, that doesn't budge. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, we got... Okay, so foundation... Oh, the foundation is $15, you guys. That is a steal. Like, you don't even know. So I think I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these. Hopefully they have my shade. Let's see. We got... Beige... Natural tan... I could probably just try them on, but I'm lazy, so I won't. Honey, no, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be this one. Yeah, we got some shadows over here. Oh, wow. That is pretty. And these, are, these are $8. Look at that. That is lovely. I have to get a bag, actually, because I'm gonna need some hands. Watching, I'm swatching some of, you guys know I'm very picky with eyeshadow, so I don't know, I'm swatching some of these. Let me try this one. Oh, that one looks cute. Actually, I like that. That's pretty. I've had to get colors I don't have because I have so much freaking eyeshadow, it's ridiculous. So, whenever I buy new eyeshadows, I try to get unique colors. Because it's like, I want to try, ooh, this is the shade Ice Blue. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It's like super reflective. Ooh, I think I'm sold on that. I'm gonna get that. I'm getting a lot of stuff. My budget's fifty dollars, but I'm probably gonna go over it. Let's be real, because I'm me. Ooh, they have a wheat wheat touching one. I keep seeing new stuff. Okay, these this one they actually have my color, so. I'm gonna take a look at these. So they have a skin moisture foundation. Uh, Y'all know I'm an oily bitch, so I stay away anything that says moisture, especially in the summer. So I'ma just <laughs> keep walking. Oh, what's over here? And they have. Oh, okay. I've heard of good things about their stick foundation. I definitely want to get one of those. Yes, yes, definitely. Hopefully they have my shade. Let's see. Um. Very tiny. This is obviously not my color, but this is like the size of it. So they have. It's only the shade they have. This is organized kind of weird. So they have a foundation stick. I would get both of those. They sell for. I didn't say a price, but I'm thinking probably like 15 or so. This is a. Do you have other face foundation sticks besides that one? The only one? Oh, damn. Okay. And do you have like a light one of these? Two of sticks? Nah. Nah. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Thank you. Alright, so the out of the foundation stick, they only have one shade. That's unfortunate. Should to came earlier. Oh well. You gotta get to these things early because they shit sells out fast. Just gotta get what you can get. Oh, but they do have a concealer. Um, I definitely want to try that. Hopefully, let me ask the lady if they have my shade. Hey guys. So I just got a great so idea. I just realized I, I could totally just time. use their stick I as a contour that. stick, and then I could like try out the formula in that way. I'm gonna think I'm going to do just that. Let's see. Oh, I show you. They have. I should probably get something a little cooler on the cooler side if I can. These all look very warm tones. So, actually, no, that one looks like it's gonna work for me as a contour. This is in the shade Cool Golden. Cool Golden, that's, that's so contradictory. I understand that. Cool Golden, Golden isn't, <laughs> golden isn't cool. I don't quite get the tan. Let me, let me try it. Maybe I can use this for contour. Maybe. Oh, uh, whoa. 
<laughs> okay. For you, yeah. Never mind. I'm putting that right back. That's. So, guys, never mind. This is called Cool Golden, but look at how warm this is. Jesus Christ. That's like. And that's not gonna work for me, I just know it. I don't even gotta try that on. I don't even gotta try that on so that's not gonna work for me. Um, they have these little sticks. Let me see these. These look like they're gonna be a lot better. Um, sorry, I need more hands. Um, this looks... That is too light to contour with, and it's too dark to conceal with, so that's not gonna be any use to me. This... Yeah, none of those are gonna work for me. Ooh, what's this one? This is in the shade golden. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. I think it's gonna look a little... Blends out? No, that blends out really orange. I mean, I'm no, I'm, th I'm thinking too fair to get away with that. Actually, I'm not gonna even bother. But they do have these... Let me see what these are called. These are called... Um... The Skin Moisture Compact Foundation. I said, I I mean, I could probably use this as like a liquid, I mean not a liquid, a cream bronzer, if they have a shade. Ooh, this looks like it might work. Yeah, this is in the shade Honey. Um, let me see the other one. And then they have the shade Warm Almond, which is a little bit darker. That might be a little... Um, I think a cream contouring is better to go a little darker because you're gonna put like stuff on top of it, it's gonna lighten it up. So I'm gonna go with. Let me see this one actually. This is warm walnut. And this one is. Let me just try not to drop it like an idiot. Can't open it. Oh, it is a button. How nice. This one looks a little darker. And. Ooh, that's, that's too dark. The one on the top is warm walnut. I think out of these three, I think warm almonds is the way to go for contour. Obviously, it's too dark. I can't use this foundation, but just so I can try the formula, I'll go ahead and... Ooh! Ooh, they have a serum foundation. Ooh, that, that is interesting. But they don't have my colors. Oh, they only have the darker ones. This is why I should have came earlier, Jordan. Get your shit together. Oh wow, like I did get a foundation, so that's good. Uh, let's go over there and see what else they have. Ooh, they have lipsticks and lip liners. You know, I'm gonna get down with that. Let's see. These are all nude. Shade. How much are these? Eight. All the lip stuff's eight dollars. Okay, cool. So I only have one shade, Cosmic Pink, but I'm extra enough where I'd wear this shade, so maybe I'll get it. Yeah, why not? And then we have, oh, a lip gloss. Mm. I don't think I'd ever wear this, to be honest, I don't really wear lip gloss, so. Ooh, look at these, you guys. So apparently these are the, what are these called? Let me see. These are called the Sequin Eyeshadows. This is in the shade Starbeam. Oh wow, super glittery. That's nice. I like that glitteriness. Oh, oh they were switched around. So that was actually the shade Comet. And then... And this is and this purple one is the shade Starbeam. This one right there. I'll definitely try one. I like green. I'll get comment. So I just found some shimmer powder. These all look on the these look a little dark for me though. Let me see. Um that no. I don't think I could use it. I could use them as like a shimmer bronzer, but I'm probably not gonna do that, so I'm not gonna bother. Let's see. Ooh, they have the setting powder, but not in my shades, unfortunately. What a shame. Let's see, I think I think I got everything. Like I looked at these, I don't know about these like cream pots.
This is... Oh, this is a brow... Oh, this is a brow gel. Oh, shit. Oh. Shouldn't curse around here, sorry. I definitely should try this saddle. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is just more of a red saddle. Alright, so I probably got $100, but whatever. What are you gonna do? Ooh, they have a blush. They have a blush. It's... I can make that work. I gotta probably put it like lower on my cheeks. Ooh, this is the face highlight, but... It's too dark. What a shame. Oh, and they have brushes. Should I get a brush? This is a this is an eye brush. That is a big ass eye brush. No, that's probably put under the eye. That's what it's for. Right? I think I have a pretty nice selection of stuff. I have a lot of different categories. I have face, I have some lips, I have some eyes. So, I can definitely do like a full face sort of review, um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, that's probably what I'm gonna do actually. Sorry, I'm really sweaty. I really hate when it's like really rainy and humid out because, like rain in the summer is the worst because it gets so freaking humid and I can't deal. So, sorry for looking mess right now, but I don't look that bad, I don't think. But anyway, yeah. Ooh, powder foundation. Ooh, even better, powder foundation and, oh no, never mind. <laughs> See how we shade they have. And it's so warm for me to bronze with. Um, this is a, a compact. Didn't I buy this? I think I bought that, right? Wait. Oh, they have a skin moisture one and a compact one. That's actually... See, that's actually in my shade. I don't know now. Um, so these, these two are different. This is a skin moisture and this is the... What's it called? Cool ivory. I could definitely wear this one. It's a long way even finish. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna phone I'm gonna phone a friend. Excuse me. Hi, do you have you tried but do you know which one of these you like better? I'm trying to decide. Do you like that? Is that is that one not good for oily skin? Because I know it's a, I mean I was gonna use it to contour because obviously that's too dark for me. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get that. Cause that looks like it's gonna slip a lot. My skin is more almond. Alright, so I'm gonna put that back and I'm gonna get this one. Because I feel like I'm gonna like it better. I might put back the liquid foundation. I don't know. Now I'm like looking and I'm like, I got a lot of stuff. And I uh I don't know. I'm gonna you know me, I take forever to decide. So I'm gonna walk around and I'll come back with my final verdict of what I'm getting. Bye! Okay, you guys, so I just finished shopping. I spent about twice as much money as I had planned to because I'm me. But you can ask me if you wanna know, but I'd rather not say because it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but I mean, it was a lot. But you know, think of it this way. I haven't tried this brand. I got, I got, I mean, I'll just show you like some of the prices on the receipt. Like you can see everything was like, I think everything I got, every single thing I got was $15 or less. So I got a lot of stuff for my money's worth. I got enough to do like a whole face of makeup, which I'm gonna do. Um, I'll show you guys what I got in my video and I'll tell you my first impressions and all of that. And then also, um, I'm probably not gonna keep all this, honestly. I'm probably gonna throw in the giveaway for you guys. So, you know, it's kinda just like, you know, the cycle of makeup. It's gonna all go back and come back to me in some way. So, you know, I'm kind of the type of person who always, like, you know, puts my money that I get back into my work. So, I do the same thing in the kitchen when I cook. You know, I go home, I practice stuff, I buy knives. I do, it's the same thing as that, you know? It's like, doing makeup is kinda sort of a part-time job for me now. So, you know, I always wanna, like, you know, put money back into my work, so I don't mind, you know, spending a little splurge here and there, if it's for the sake of, you know, making a video, bettering my channel, stuff like that, so, but let's just, I had makeup all over my arm, I think, I think I actually got makeup all over the bag, and yeah, I'm really excited, I don't know when this video is gonna be, and I have all this stuff, you know, in the corner of my room, 
Probably gonna go back tomorrow because a friend wants to go with me. I found out, I mean, sometimes with the last sample sale with Mac, they have like different stuff every day, but I think with this one, they just have what they have. Like they have everything that's there. So it's gonna be the same stuff tomorrow. So I might not buy anything tomorrow, honestly, because it's gonna be the same stuff. So, but I'll just go with my friend. Maybe I'll buy a couple of things. I'll see, I'll see how bougie I'm feeling. <laughs> I, do get, I do get paid tomorrow, so. I get paid today, I get paid today, so that's good. I'm just gonna chill, eat some stuff. I have work in like a couple hours. Yay. But I'm off tomorrow. So it's all good. I'll check up on you guys in a bit. So this is like a little vlog thing. I've never done something like this before. Let me know if you guys like it because I'm sure, I mean, it was a mess in there. Just, you know, trying to bam, I was trying to shop. I was trying to like make some decisions. So yeah, I'm really excited though to talk about this makeup and show it to you guys. So I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, hope you can hear me under all of this noise. I'm on the train right now. The Long Island Railroad, my most favorite train ever. So I'm going to the um, Bobby Brown sample sale again. This time I'm going with a friend, which is why I'm going again. Also, I spent a lot of money yesterday. I got a lot of shit. I got enough shit, more than enough shit to do my video with, honestly, but I might buy a couple more things. I'm also gonna buy something for like um, my friend who wants something and my sister, so. I don't know. I have a parent, again, like I said yesterday in my last vlog, they apparently have the same stuff as it did yesterday, so it's not like they have anything new I can try, but you never know, we shall see. It could surprise me. So yeah, I'll check it back in with you guys in a little bit. So, I'm back here for part two, because part one wasn't enough, even though I literally spent like, you know, five paychecks, but <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, don't come for me. I, 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 I spent a lot of money though, I spent more money than I should have. But this time I'm buying stuff for other people, for my sister and for um, some friends, so it's okay, it's justified. They're gonna pay me back. A bunch of stuff for my sister too. So here we have foundation sticks. I think they only have one shade of the foundation stick, it's over there. These are all concealers. The smaller ones are all concealers, yeah. The thing is, a lot of them, I think they only have darker shades right now, so you might. The liquid foundations though, and they should have testers out here. Oh, they're over there, they're over there. Yeah. And, uh... Ooh, what's this? Skin weightless powder. Um, I could probably bronze with that, but no, I don't think I can. It's a little too warm. No, I could bronze with that. How much is this? I'm gonna throw one in. Okay, so... Yeah, they only have like one what shade of this stick. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's horrible. That, no, no, that's what, no, it's because they run out, that's why. Like, when it, they bring like everything the same day and they just, they don't restock. They just sell out of what they have. So all the white bitches came and bought all the shit. Yeah. They didn't do it on purpose. Because like over there they have lighter foundations. If you want to look over there. So fucking Christian as mom gave me a look. As if I don't see you, bitch. Don't get me started. Help you? Okay, so check all those. Do any of those? I think those are all too dark for you. Yeah, those are all too dark. This one is not that bad. Uh, I mean, oh actually, I mean if you paint your face darker, you might be able to use some of those. Just get something yellow toned. This like, one. like maybe that, look yeah. Read what shade it is and then find it over here. Look at me playing makeup mommy. <laughs> yeah. I love to help the children. Alright, I'll be right back. And we're back and we're helping our little friend here pick out some stuff. What do you think? I think this yeah. one. Yeah. Which one was yellow? This one? You want yellow. Yeah. Get this one. That one's you want, more, you that want one's this more one? pinky. That one's more yellow. This one blends well. Look at it. I mean, I'm trying to figure out which well, one. See, that thing is that's yellow, but it's also darker than you. So actually, maybe that one would be better. Which one is it? This is the yellow one. Yeah. Because they're probably like yellow, but they're also really fair. So it's like, I don't know. Because I tan a lot. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which one it is, but. <laughs> Honestly, you could probably make both of them work if you change them. Other thing is I want to share with my mom. <laughs> we have similar skin dives. Even that's a little dark. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Um, 
Probably this one then. This yeah, one. That one. You wanna show it? Yeah. It's ivory. Ivory. Um, I got the shade. I forgot what shade I got. I got yesterday. Yeah, it's the oily skin. They have the dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a one thing I actually got, I like, I just got some information from one of the um, ladies who works here. They actually didn't ship out a huge range of stuff. Like, they have stuff for like one or two skin tones in some of the areas because that's just kind of what gets given to them. Because like Esther Lauder is like running their shit, and they didn't want to give them too much makeup, which kind of sucks. But not the the foundation range, however. Foundation range, and they have a nice sort of stuff. Uh, yeah. So what did I get my sister? A foundation? Sorry. She wants something for contour, but I don't think there's anything. Well, she might be able to use one of these. I don't think she's gonna be, this is gonna be hard to use for contour. She's not gonna be able to do it. This is, this is gonna be a hard, this is a dark shade, I believe. Or no, over there, there's a cooler there, one. Yeah. So, so, see the contour? She's gonna, need, she's gonna need like a cream to contour. So, I'm gonna have to go like over here. Okay, I could use one of these for Let me see. They're a little, I feel like they're either too dark or too warm. Those are fucking really warm. This. See, my sister's a little light, but if she puts this like under her foundation, she might be able to get away with this for contour. Mm -hmm. If she puts it under, over it's gonna be too much. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be too dark, but if she puts it under, I'm gonna go for it. Those are too warm. I'm trying to figure out how much this, this costs. Eight. What are you getting? Twenty. That. Okay. Um. Oh, they also have like this like concealer corrector thing over there. Oh, I should get that for my sister too. Have you smelled it? What smell? How that? I don't really do perfumes because I don't really feel like paying twenty four dollars. Like, I pay more. Soon. I pay more. I don't know. That's just me. It does smell good though. It smells like. So this is the concealer corrector. It looks. This is. Um, they also have like an eye primer tint over there thing. Face touch up stick. Oh no no, this is a face touch up stick. No, this yeah, is the this is skin corrector. These all look. What? Here, this one might work. Try this one. Oh wait, no. Oh, this is extra light peach. They're all peachy toned, by the way. But, um, they're meant to like correct. What? I'm just. Thank you. I'm probably gonna put this actually back. What is it? It's the eyeshadow. Oh, you got an eyeshadow? Okay. They have a lipstick. Lipsticks right here. They only have, they only have one. It's pretty though. I like it. I got this yesterday. Only one color, right? Yeah. Make a sample. Make a Oh, they have a lip gloss. Actually, Caitlin would like this. I'll get that for her. My sister loves lip gloss, so I'll get that for her. I don't think she'd wear any of these eyeshadow colors, so I'm not gonna get her those. I'm looking if there's like a neutral brown, but this is really not. The closest thing would be the golden. Yeah. Blue. She might wear that. For my sister, not me. I, I wear everything. <laughs> she has her like a prom stone, so. That is pretty. Let me see. I like it. Sorry. Actually, I'll get this for her. She might like it. I hope. I, this is literally, like, one thing in here is for me. Like, this is all for her and my sister, I swear. Oh, you have your own. Oh. oh. What? Oh, you have your own stuff. Where did all this makeup come from? Oh, well. <laughs> well, I'm about to have, like, negative $10 in my account. No, it's not. I'm, it's an exaggeration. Oh, they have a loose powder. It's all too dark for us. It's all too dark for us. So, what do you know? I'm not bitter. Um, That's okay. Actually, the powder? I don't think it's... Yeah, you can't. No way. No way. You can't use any. Is there any lighter colors? No, there's not. 
I know it. We have everything here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we don't have it. Yeah, all the powders are so junk. Which is rare. Let's be honest about that. I know, you're it's just, usually it's the other way around. I think that's too light for most powders. Though. Yeah, no, they're, they always so they always change. do that. And that's not surprising. Especially if you're in, like Bobby Brown, like the higher end brands run, run by fucking like white ladies. You know. So, I didn't say that though. I'm editing that out. I want people coming for me. I'm gonna turn off the camera now. Hi, so, oh my god, we're about to leave. I'm so sad, I don't wanna leave. It's so nice here. It's a good time. My bag is full of stuff again. My bag is full of, oh, it's just like three things. It's like three things. Yeah. So. There isn't a lot of um, kind of range of things, so they're mostly focused on um, just basically foundation and concealer and cover yeah. up kind of things. Which I kind of think Bobby Brown's like that. I feel like they're kind of a brand where like they focus more on like the everyday woman, with like very focus on the skin, as opposed to like an artist brand like you know Mac and Makeup Forever, where they like good, really. You know? Yeah, no. I mean, that's what most makeup wearers are. Yeah. So why wouldn't you focus on that? I think it's a smart marketing move on their on Bobby Brown's part. I think she's a pretty class. I have I think she's a pretty classy lady. I'm excited to try her stuff. I I'm probably gonna film my try on video tonight because. I'm really excited. I want to try on this makeup. I'm actually really excited to try everything. Um, so yeah. Thanks for coming with us. Yeah, we'll see you later. Well, I'll see you later. Love you guys. Bye. So I look, I look great. <laughs> look at that lipstick, bitch. Get it together. So anyway, I just met my friend. We went to lunch and I'm really buzzed right now. I'm just chilling. I missed my train. So I'm just kind of waiting to go home. Whenever I'm like waiting in here, I always go to the makeup section, like I have it, just to like you know browse around. Even though I, I don't even know exactly what's here because I do here like every fucking day almost. But <clears throat> yeah, brands I really want to try. I really want to try more of Soap and Glory stuff, honestly, because what I've tried so far hasn't touched me. And you know, it's a little bit pricier on the pricier side, but I mean, I think the products work really well. I have a lot of products that appeal to me, like a lot of stuff for oily skin, a lot of really nice shimmer powders, nice like lipsticks. So really, I don't know, I just want to explore more of this brand. Let me know if you want me to do like some more Soap and Glory brand reviews for you guys. This skincare stuff too. Also, I really want to try, I love number seven skincare, but I haven't tried any of their makeup really. And I've heard some good things about a lot of their stuff, so I want to try that as well. What I like about these two brands is that they actually have testers in the store. So that makes me more like, able to like buy a foundation because I can try it on my hand. See they have testers and all that, so that's good. And yeah. I'm trying to stay away from more yellow because I'm trying to stay away from like, um, I have a lot of blush on, holy shit. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry not sorry. I have very like barely any makeup on today. Like I have like the lightest stuff I like boy makeup, you know. Um, so L'Oreal has a lot of cool stuff right now, but I don't really I'm trying to stay away from L'Oreal because I'm trying to actually go cruelty free at some point. So I kind of don't want to. I want to try to buy less of that, <laughs> which is funny because I just went to a fucking Bobby Bobby Brown sale, which is not cruelty free at all. But you know. I'm probably gonna end up giving all this stuff away at some point. I just, I really just wanted to try it. Just like, you know, get the review out and just try some of the makeup, you know? I don't really know anything about the brand, so I don't know what I'm gonna like or not like, so. I'll probably keep a couple things that I like for now and then probably give the rest, give the rest away because I'm doing a giveaway really, really, really soon when I hit 1K. So maybe you guys should make sure I hit 1K soon if you wanna get some free makeup. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's what I thought. So yeah, I'm just kind of wandering around, not knowing what to do with my life. I want to. I spent so much money today. I want to spend more money. A lot of the makeup I bought was for my sister, and she's gonna pay me back. So, but still, I'm just kind of just like. But yeah, when I get home, I can't wait to. We're gonna start working on more stuff. I might film the video today. I don't know if I'm gonna film it today. I'll film it at some point. But. I will work on the next video I have coming up, which is taking a while. I'm really sorry about that, by the way. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties and work has been getting kind of crazy, so... I don't really have any real excuse. I've just been getting tired and... 
you know, trying to adult. <laughs> so, you know, <clears throat> I really wish that video was, I can probably get it up today, honestly, if I really, really try. I'm gonna push for that for you guys. Hopefully no one comes and distracts me with their going out to party nonsense. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi everyone, welcome back. So, I pretty much explained everything in my vlog about what this is gonna be, but I'm just gonna do my makeup like I always do, try on all of these new products and give you my first impressions and feedback on them. So it's kinda like a first impressions and a haul all in one. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my eyes, as I always do. I'm gonna prime them. I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. This is a type of concealer, and it's the closest thing I have to a primer, so... I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so... It's not offering... It's not offering a lot of coverage at all. <laughs> first, the first thing I notice, like... I mean, I'm just using, like, my Torch Shape Tape and stuff like that, so, I mean, I have that to compare it to, to be fair. But, like, at the same time, I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna add a little more. There's a lot. I should need to add that much to prime my eyes, I feel like. Sort of blends away into, like, nothing. I don't know. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna set it with a powder because I feel like this is not gonna feel like this is gonna slip. I don't really have a powder product to try. All the powder products I have are too dark for me, so I'm actually gonna use one as a contour. You're gonna see, but um, I have to sort of. I'm gonna say this, this tutorial is gonna be like 80% Bobbi Brown. I, I'm gonna have to reach into my collection for a couple of other things, but yeah, I'm just gonna take some. This is MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. I do like a starry... Midnighty type of look. This is gonna really brighten my eyes because it's a highlighting powder, so my eyes are gonna look really light and washed out for the time being, but that's okay. Just make sure I'm in the camera this time. I know, I'm sorry guys, I have a bad habit of not doing that. I kind of like first impressions because if the makeup looks like shit, I have an excuse. <laughs> I'm gonna, I need, I need a transition of some sort. I'm gonna do something cool toned. I'm gonna take my Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek, which is right here, and use that. Sorry, all my brushes are like so dirty right now. It's really bad. Not professional. I have this new like brush, brush color thing. They just like take off the shadow on my brushes, and I've been using it non-stop because it's like the lazy person's dream. It works really well though. I'm just gonna take Barcelona Beach. Just we need to have something, you know, for the other colors to blend into. Actually, try like holding the mirror really close to me. We take the same brush, and we're gonna go with the Bobbi Brown product. This is the sequin eyeshadow in the shade Comet, and it is—I mean, look at this, you guys! Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a baked eyeshadow. It has like green, and it's really glittery. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Gorgeous. I'm gonna just. I'm going to use a little bit on the crease and a little bit on the lid. I want to see how this shadow performs in other multiple areas. I'm going to take a little bit of this and just buff into the crease and see what happens. In the crease, it's very faint. It's almost like a transition shade, which is what I expected. I didn't really expect this to have a ton of pigment. I'm not getting any glitter, but again, it is being blended out. I don't know. Eyeshadow, you guys, I'm so picky because I've tried so much in my day, so... Yes, 
at this point, an eyeshadow has to do a lot to impress me. So something else I'm trying, I just decided to take another brush, and this is more of a, you know, stiffer brush that's better for packing on color. And I sort of took a shadow and tried to sort of intensify it a little bit. And I realize this is a baked shadow. It's not, I mean, that's not true though, because baked shadows can be very intense. I found, I've worked with very intense baked powders before. This one's just very subtle and sheer. And it's just, it doesn't look bad in the crease. Like, it is defining things nicely. It's just, I feel like you look at this and you expect something like, magical and whimsical and just so beautiful and glittery and then it's just a little underwhelming when you put it on the eye so I don't know I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of this I think I would skip this because I just feel like with how it looks in the package and it's called you know the sequin eyeshadow stargazer comment it's like I just expect a little bit more I don't know I'm gonna put another shadow this is the metallic eyeshadow in the shade iced blue I swatched this and you guys, this is fucking gorgeous. Like, I mean, it's like a sort of lavender, like, um, lavender, grayish, icy blue color. It is stunning. I'm gonna put this on the lid. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this one. I heard that this is a Barbie Brown formula, like the one that's in, like, the square package that everyone else tends to really love, so. Oh my god. This is the shit I am here for. This is not the look I had in mind, but whatever. <laughs> I feel like I, I was going to do something really like artisty and artist artisty, but I feel like Bobby Brown makeup. It's not really that type of makeup, honestly. I, no shade to Bobby Brown. I think what she does is amazing. I just think she just really again she really appeals to the everyday woman. So I'm gonna do like an everyday woman look, obviously, with um, metallic ass eyeshadow. Now, I want to see this eyeshadow perform multiple, wa mul multiple ways. So what I'm going to do is um, take my brush, take a little bit of a spray. This is Pixie Glow Mist. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to pick up some of this shadow wet. I want to see how it performs wet. Ooh. Almost gets like duochrome -y. It's absolutely gorgeous. I do love myself, and I love all of you guys, and I love everything about makeup, and I'm very grateful for my life, so... If I don't seem like that way any time, just know that... It's sort of how I cope with, like, anxiety and depression and all that, just to sort of, like, you know, make jokes about myself. So, yeah, that's just something I felt like I had to say right now, because I feel like on YouTube you have to make 50 shades of fucking disclaimers, so... Disclaimer! I'm not a piece of shit, I just act like one. <laughs> Anyway, back to the makeup. This is looking beautiful. I would define the crease a little more, but I feel like that's not that, that color is not gonna define the crease. I'd have to sort of dip into something else. And I don't feel like doing that. So I'm not going to. I'm gonna like keep some of the stuff and give it away. I think this one's definitely a keeper, because I'm actually really digging this. I'm gonna do a little liner in my eye. I don't have an eye pencil to try. This Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner. And hopefully get the cap off at some point in my life. And... Throw that on the waterline. Yay! Definition. Um... I'm gonna move on to the face. Because a lot of the products I got are face products, so... Let's move on to that. I don't have a primer. There were no primers at that sale, so I'm just gonna go in with my uh, Bodyography Veil Foundation Primer. Now, Bodyography Cosmetics is the makeup they sell on Mikasa Beauty site. That is the brand I am an affiliate with. So you can use the code JoeBeauty 25% off to get off 25%, as the code suggests, off of all Mikasa Beauty brushes and products. I do plan on doing like sort of a full review of like that entire thing to give you guys like a sort of a recommended you know buying list of like what to buy there in case you're lost and don't know what to buy so that video is definitely coming up so stay tuned but as of now I'm just gonna take a couple pumps and this is a green primer it's meant to sort of correct redness which as you can see I have a lot of 
So that's why it's green, in case you're wondering. <laughs> It sort of treats my redness too. I actually do really like this primer. It is expensive, but that's not the video's about. But we'll get to that. We're gonna get to that, okay? Now the foundations. So this foundation I'm a little questionable about. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. It has an SPF of 15. It, they said it's meant for oily skin, but I just think it's less dewy than their moisture rich foundation which was the other one they had so this is the one they recommend oily skin it has a pump which is nice but i just want to show you guys this foundation you guys is so liquidy like do you see that it's like dripping down my hand that makes me a little nervous but i'm going to take some of that dot it on my face the color is perfect i can already tell exactly the color I want my foundation to be. Um, and we're gonna blend this out and we're gonna see the coverage. I'm gonna take my brush. Anyone wanna come out? Alright, this is the only brush that's here, so I'm gonna just take this elf buffing brush and use that because I don't know. Okay. So, I'm blending out the foundation, and it's going a little streaky. This brush sometimes does that with foundations that are, that are too liquidy, so this actually might not be the foundation's fault. This might be the brush's fault. I think I need to switch to another brush. <laughs> Let's do that. So, I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush, because it's right here, and that's already blending things a lot better, I can tell. Um, full coverage? Absolutely not. <laughs> not even close. But it... See, here's the thing. I need to see how it wears. I can't really wear... I'm not wearing this. I could wear this makeup to work. It's not that dramatic, but... Maybe I'll wear... I'll take the eyes off and I'll just wear, like, the face, maybe. But at the same time, I mean... I guess I could do that and I could just, but I don't want to wear like, I work in a hot kitchen and I really don't feel comfortable wearing like really like new foundations that I don't know how they wear like on my face when I go to work because it's like, if that shit fucking ends up running or breaking off, I am fucked. So I don't know. Now, that actually, it reminds me of the NARS Sheer Glow actually in terms of coverage and in terms of finish. It's very natural. And I actually don't hate it. I don't hate how it applied. It's not enough. I'm going to have to go in with more stuff. I guess I can see how it builds up. But I also want to try another product, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in with another foundation that I bought. This is actually a cream compact foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finished Compact Foundation. Long wear, you know, I'm all for that. And it's in the shade Cool Ivory. And this is what it is. I'm just gonna dip my brush into it. Ooh, it's very thick. I'm gonna sort of pat this on areas where I feel like I need more coverage. Basically, anywhere where I'm red and my skin is still sort of peeking through a little bit. Okay, it's doing a nice job of covering. Let me just get a close-up, though. It, um... It's very thick and very heavy. But... I think it's doing what it says it was going to do, so I like that. I like when products, you know, do actually do what they're, you know, advertised for. <laughs> oh, but you can, you can feel it. I feel it on the skin right now. It is... While it is doing its job, it, I do feel it on the skin. This is probably more up my alley, because it actually, it actually is give, covering my stuff up quite nicely. I like that. I'm going to go with a little concealer now. And I have two concealers to try. I think I'm just going to try... I should have tried this under my foundation. No, it's actually... It's like a peach concealer. I don't really have, like, dark circles right now, so I'm not going to bother trying that. I'll try it out, like, another day. 
What I could actually do is I could try it out to cover, I mean, I have a full beard right now, so I don't really need to like cover up any stubble. But if I did, I would, I could use that for it. I'll try it for that one day, but I'm not gonna try it for now. For now, I'm gonna try the same thing I used on my eyes, the Prime. The Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener. This is meant to go under the eye as a concealer. And judging how it primed, I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of it. So I'm just gonna sort of really slap it on. I'm gonna see how it covers like blemishes too. The coverage I got from that compact foundation is really lovely, wow. Anyway, I'm gonna take my good old Real Techniques brush. You guys, I have not been using like blenders like at all. I've been just, I've like, I don't even know where any of my blenders are right now. I just kind of been using brushes. I guess I'm just more of a brush girl right now. So one thing I'll say about that concealer is it took a long time for me to blend this out. Like a long time. And I know it's not the brush because I use this brush every day for everything. It could be because I have a lot of product, product on my skin. But I doubt that. However, once I blended it out, it looks lovely. Except it totally, it totally just creased in my forehead. Do you guys see that? So, creases quickly, however. It definitely doesn't set down. Like, my face is still tacky. But, it does look very nice once you blend it out. It's very brightening. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed so far with the skin products. Everything. So, definitely has to be set, this makeup. I mean, I set, on, I set all my makeup anyway because I'm super oily. Even if it doesn't have to be set, I always still set it. I like the way my skin looks right now. It's very full coverage because I, I put a lot of products on. That's why it's full coverage. But, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at the way my face looks. Not at all. Anyway, I'm going to bronze now. And to bronze, this powder foundation... This is the Skin Weightless Powder Foundation in shade Walnut. It's a powder foundation, but the color is very nice for me to contour with. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was just a puff that fell out. I'm gonna take my Morphe M523 brush. I'm just gonna dip into this a little bit. On the verge of being too orange. Let's see how it looks on the forehead. It's very pigmented though. Oh, I like that. I like how easily it's going on. It's pigmented and blending very well. Now, it is a... It's meant to be a powder foundation, keep that in mind, so it's gonna have a little more coverage to it. It's on the verge of being a little too orange, but I think it's just not orange enough where it doesn't look weird. I feel like with this look though, I don't like the way the bronze skin looks with the eyes. These eyes, these eyes are very cool toned, so I don't really feel like... So I'm actually gonna put another powder to make this look less weird to me. Very cool toned, so I don't really feel like... So I'm actually gonna put another powder to make this look less weird to me. I'm gonna take a really cool tone powder. Actually, I'm just gonna take Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek again because it's very cool toned. It's gonna help sort of neutralize it a little bit. I'm gonna be careful not to use too much because it's very pigmented with eyeshadow. I'm just running this over it. I'm not mad though. Like, I know the color is a little, like, you know, questionable, but it's... I like the way it blended and I like the way it applied. But I'm going to do a little under eye powder. I don't have... Again, I don't have a powder for that. So I'm going to take my MAC Pro Emphasize again, the one I used on my eyes. I'm going to open this little... Guys, this is like a little shitty Z palette that I made. <laughs> it's just it's just something to keep my like, you know, face powders in where I don't have a brush for. Actually I wanna use a little bit of this cap on D powder. Just help make everything blend a little bit better and look a little more seamless. For blush don't have a blush to try. <laughs> the one blush I had there was really dark and I just, I don't know, I wasn't into it, so I didn't get it. 
so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a neutral blush. I'm gonna go in with this. This is a new blush for me. This is the Urban Decay After Gold Blush in the shade Indecent. It was on sale, so I got it. It's really pretty. It's sort of like, you know Milani Luminoso? It's sort of the same color as that, except Luminoso is like a sheen blush. Like, it has like, sort of like a highlight to it. Whereas this one is more matte. So it's like the matte version of Luminoso, basically. I really like it. Now for highlight, I'm actually going to use this shadow again. I want to see how it highlights me. I feel like it's going to highlight me really nicely. Beautiful. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. Look at that. That's very unicorn. A little more in the high points. I had the shadow for five minutes and look at how messy it already is. These powders are pretty soft. I like, I like this. So I returned, my brows are done, I kind of just haphazardly fill them in. I didn't style them. I guess I could throw in some brow gel. The foundation is getting a little weird, I have to say. I think this moisture rich foundation, I mean it's not moisture rich, the um, natural foundation, it's not for my skin type. I can sort of tell already, like I mean I already left the house yet, my face already feels like this. I'm definitely not wearing this makeup to work. Hell no. Because if it feels like this now, imagine how it's going to feel at work. So, I'm pretty much done. I just have one more product to try, and it is a Bobbi Brown lipstick. This is the Bobbi Brown Rich Lip Color in the shade Cosmic Pink. It's very small. Like, the actual tube of lipstick is small, which might be nice. And this is the shade. That's one swipe, so the definite pigmentation is there. Um, I'm actually going to... Exfoliate and moisturize my lips really quickly. I'm gonna use the Lush Lip Scrub. I finally found this guy, my philosophy lip balm. Lip liner in the shade Fuchsia. Okay, goes on. So it doesn't go on super pigmented. Which again plays in the whole thing about the whole line being more natural woman. It's like a satin. It sort of reminds me of like Max Speed Dial. Oh my god. Alright, I blended that out and it's still not... I still, I still don't like it. <laughs> I still don't like it. It's just not what I want it to be. I want... When I see a baked eyeshadow like that, I want glitter, I want glam, I want smoky. It's just not, it doesn't, it's just not enough for me. I'm gonna need a little more, I'm gonna need a little more from you on that one, Bobby Brown. Um, so that one's kind of a miss. The foundations. So this Bobby Brown Moisture Rich, I think it's the reason why my makeup's starting to like sort of slide a little bit. It's not, a, it's not the Moisture Rich, it's the skin foundation. It's very liquidy, liquidy, it has a lot of water in it. It's like the NARS Sheer Glow. It really is exactly like the NARS Sheer Glow in the consistency and the way it applies and the color and all of it. It's just very, it reminds me so much of that foundation. And that foundation, I have, it applies well, but then I have issues wearing it throughout the day. So I'm kind of worried that this is going to do the same thing. I'd have to give you guys an update on that. I'm not so sure about this one, to be honest. Um, this guy, however, I really liked this. I put this on my cheeks. And it really covered up my redness beautifully. This one might be a keeper for me. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Compact. It's really thick. Feels like theater makeup almost. Like, actually no, it doesn't even. Like, it's really creamy. Like, it slides on beautifully. It's a good color for me. I like it. So far. The brow gel. Well, no, it actually applied really well. It got a nice point on my brow. I kind of like bullshit my brows today. I actually probably have to trim them. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, whatever. Now my lipstick. Um, it's pretty. I wish... I had a little more pigment right now. I feel like it goes on more sheer. It's not sheer, obviously. But... I don't know. I thought I was going to a little more pigment swatch. But you know what? I actually put it on freshly moistured lips, so that might have been why. Because now I'm putting it on right now, and I'm getting more color payoff. 
It's gorgeous. I really do like the color. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it, but at the same time, I have so many, so many sticks. Look at this. And I have more back here that's just like chilling. Like, I have too many lipsticks. It's ridiculous. But yeah. And oh, the tinted eye brightener. I'm a little on the fence with this. It didn't blend out amazingly. It took a little while to blend out. Once it was on there, it did brighten my eyes. It did really like make everything seamless. It doesn't have a lot of coverage though, so I don't know. Oh, this guy, the powder foundation. Although it was really warm, I love the way it applied. It applied so easily and beautifully and blended like a dream and really bronzed. It bronzed my face. I feel like if you're a little bit darker than me and have more yellow in your skin, this particular color would look really nice on you because it's very warm. It might be a little, I don't know. It's sort of like, it's sort of on the verge of being too warm. I feel like I can make it work though. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it too warm or not? Tell me in the comments below. Because <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, makeup is personal and subjective. And, you know, what I think is too much, other people think is fine. And vice versa. So, you know. There are no rules to makeup. Just very strong suggestions. Remember that. <laughs> so this video was kind of all over the place. I just wanted to sort of, you know, use this whole sample sale. It was a great buy. Great opportunity. As sort of like, you know, a way to get sort of a video together for you guys. And just get some, get some more content out. Because... I know I haven't been super great with uploading and getting stuff done. Some of you guys know I am a chef. I work full time as a chef. So I've been working a lot of hours at work. I'm actually going to work after this. I'm taking all this makeup off. So that's just kind of the way it is. And I'm working on getting stuff together in the back end better to get out better content for you guys and to get content out hopefully a little more quickly for you guys. And at the same time, you know, I also want to put time into my work and create, you know, original ideas and try to, like, give you guys the best YouTube content that I can possibly create. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that little, uh, subscribe button down there if you like what you see. Share me to the world. Share me to the children. And, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.